When you're video editing on a tablet, such as an iPad, you probably want to have a couple transitions in there to make your video go a little smoother. I'm Alex Bavulsic from HowToDoTech.com, and today we're looking at iMovie transitions on iPad. So right now I'm opened iMovie on my iPad Air and I've added a clip to my main timeline, split it up in a couple different parts so I can show you some different transitions and adding them in is actually quite simple. So by default, when you start a new project, you actually have two transitions that are not enabled for the beginning and end of your video. And if you hit the settings pane at the bottom right, you can see that you also have the option to fade in to black and fade out to black. So uh, now the video will start at darkness and fade into uh, the video, which is pretty cool if you like that. Now that's an option. You can't change that transition, but it's just something that you might want to add in. Now into the actual transitions within your project, um, to edit these, by default, whenever you have a separation of two videos, whether you split a video or added two to your timeline, you will have this little transition box appear between the two videos. So when I tap it, I actually have the option to change it. So uh, right now it's the fast cut. The way this looks, um, it's really popular among YouTube and actually different parts of like movies. When you're switching between camera angles, they normally don't have a transition between that. It's just a quick cut. So if I hit play, we see it's just a really quick cut. So um, nothing transition-wise in there. I think this is, has a place um, when it's useful, but a lot of times I don't like to do it um, unless I don't want to draw attention to the transition. So um, what you're going to want to do is just tap on the box and you'll have different options below. The first one is the star. Now this is going to change, um, all of these transitions will change depending on what theme you are using. So I use the modern theme, I believe. So when I tap on this and I hit the star, the modern star theme looks a little bit different than say the uh, bright theme. Now you could always change your theme right in the settings pane, but just be warned that the star theme or what's called uh, your themed transition will change between each one. So uh, I'm gonna keep with modern, just hit play. And you heard the little sound as well as saw the transition. So that is your star main theme transition. Okay, the next theme we're going to want to look at is going to be the quick dissolve theme. So if I tap on the theme box or the transition box again, and I tap on the two triangles, this is the dissolve. And this really is just a really quick dissolve that looks a little bit better than the jump cut, but is once again, very simple. So if I hit play, we can just watch. And there's a quick type of dissolve into the next video or frame or whatever you want to call it. The next transition we're going to look at is going to be the coming in from left or right. So if I tap on the box for coming in from left or right, um, we see I have some options. The next video can either come in from the left, you can come in from the right, come in from the bottom or the top. So uh, for example, I'm going to show from the bottom and uh, we'll just go and play this clip back. See the new one comes up from the bottom and I guess you can imagine what it would look like coming from the left, right, and so on. Now there is a version of this that is very similar and that is the leaving video from an edge. So the idea is instead of the new video coming in above your previous video, you're actually going to have the um, previous video leave and the new video will be below it. So it's much easier to show you. I'll do the same coming in from the bottom and we'll play it once again. And uh, it was kind of hard to see, but really what ended up happening is the video left from uh, top. So we'll show it on the other one, just because this is a little bit of a brighter transition. Uh, we'll do from the bottom. And it's, again, a little hard to see, but uh, basically what's happening is the top video is leaving and the new video is beneath it. Now the final transition that I want to show you is the bars. So if I just tap on the bars, I have two options. They just look a little different, but the idea is, is it's kind of like a pain effect. Uh, the bars go and um, you go to your next video. So it's actually really simple. Nothing crazy. Uh, the only difference between the two really is, is uh, one's more of a white, one's a black. But it's a really quick transition that um, is not very complicated whatsoever. 
Now the last thing I want to show you is the transition editor. Now to access this all you have to do is hit the transition box once again and hit the two arrows below it. Now the transition ed editor is actually a really powerful tool that hasn't been available on iMovie for iOS up until this version and if you know how to use it it will really make transitions look a lot nicer for your videos. So what you're seeing right now are two different colored bars. You have the yellow bar and the blue bar. So we'll focus on the blue first because it's much simpler. This controls the audio. So in some cases you will want one video's audio to end faster than the others. Um, maybe you want the other audio to take over before this one or vice versa. You want the other video's audio to last longer and then the, uh, the second video to start later. So in order to change this all you have to do is move the blue bar um, if I move it to the right, that means the audio is going to last longer for the first video. And normally you'll want to line up these blue bars unless you want audio to be happening at the same time. So if you do have audio happening at the same time, that's fine. Unless um, it's two people talking, in which case it will most likely cra uh, clash. But technically, it's up to you. Now, what you can also do is they don't have to be lined up. As you can see right now, I have a lot of just blank space with no audio. Um, this can also be helpful at some point, but it, once again, totally up to you. Now, the yellow bars are actually, you cannot change where the yellow bars happen. Those are the amount of video space where the transition is taking effect. So those will always be one fixed length. Um, and you can basically reposition those so you have the transition happening at the exact spot. So you can either um, move the top video and uh, where it will occur on the second video by just dragging from the bottom of the yellow bar. I have my finger on the bottom yellow bar and you could do vice versa by putting your finger on the top yellow bar and then moving the bottom video to the point where you want it on the uh, top video. So it's pretty simple and you can basically reposition your transition using this editor. So we hope you have enjoyed this video from How To Do Tech. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. We do ask that if you have a question, you leave the device you're using as well as the operating system along with your question. How to Do Tech is on Google Plus and Facebook, so feel free to circle us and like us there. You can also ask us questions on those social media profiles. Click on the annotations now to go to any one of our videos or playlists. You can also click the links in the description to go to all of our playlists. Don't forget to like and subscribe.